Welcome from wherever you are tuning in from today. Welcome to worship at our Savior's Lutheran Church in Arlington Heights, Illinois. Today we will hear the story of Noah and the ark, the flood, and the rainbow. We begin now with prayer. Holy God, you made the earth and all that is in it. We give thanks for the sky and the seas, the mountains and the trees, the flowers, the birds that fly and the fish that swim and all the animals that walk or crawl or creep on the land. You called on human beings to care for creation, to serve you and praise you by loving all that you have made. We remember the story of Noah and a time when people forgot to take care of the earth and each other. We ask for forgiveness for the ways that we fail to love your world with our whole hearts. Help us to do better, one step at a time, one day at a time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We hear good news of forgiveness in our scripture today. God makes a covenant with us to love us forever. May that good news make us rise and shine and give God the glory. The Lord told Noah there's going to be a floody, floody Lord told Noah there's going to be a floody, floody Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine now. Give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The Lord told Noah to build him an arky, arky. The Lord told Noah to build him an arky, arky. Build it out of hickory, barky, barky, children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine. The animals, the animals, they came on by twosies, twosies. The animals, the animals, they came on by twosies, twosies. Elephants and kangaroosie, roosies, children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and... Give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies, rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies, almost drove those animals crazy, crazy children of the Lord. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The sun came out and dried up the landy, landy sun came out and dried up the landy, landy everything was Fine and dandy, dandy children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Children of the Lord. Bye bye. I'm done. A reading from Genesis in the seventh, eighth, and ninth chapters. After Noah built an ark as God commanded, we read, In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the 17th day of the month, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of the heavens were opened, and rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. The flood continued forty days on the earth, and the waters increased and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals 
and all the domestic animals that were with him on the ark. And God made a wind to blow over the earth, and the waters subsided. The fountains of the deep and the windows of the heavens were closed. The rain from the heavens was restrained, and the waters gradually receded from the earth. The ark landed. Then God said to Noah and to his sons, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it, and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Our worship service today is brought to you by the number 40. We just heard in our Bible passage that when Noah took his family and all of those animals onto the ark, it rained and it poured for how long? 40 days and 40 nights. There are plenty of other Bible passages that mention the number 40. Jesus went into the wilderness for 40 days. The Israelites traveled through the wilderness for 40 years. The number 40 is mentioned 150 plus times in the Bible. It's a significant number. It's a number that basically means a really, really long time. Well, the main reason that the theme of our worship service today is the number 40 is because we are celebrating two significant milestones in our church this month milestones of biblical proportions. This month marks 40 years since our beloved COO, Jim Valentine, began serving here at Our Saviors. He began as the youth director at Our Saviors on August 1st, 1980. This is the new member photo of Jim and Shar in 1980. Jim has had many different hairstyles, and he served many different roles over the years. Today, he is our Savior's Congregational Operations Officer. This month also marks 40 years since Pastor Gail Heike was ordained as a pastor. This is a photo from her ordination on August 31st, 1980. Pastor Heike was one of the first 100 women to be ordained in the Lutheran Church. Pastor Gail Heike, Deacon Jim Valentine, we thank God for you. I thank God for you. The kids got it right when they sang at the beginning of the worship service. So rise and shine and give God the glory. Over the past 40 years, Jim and Pastor Heike, you have risen to the call. You have shined your light. You have given God the glory in word and in deed. And so today, we give God the glory. We give God the glory, glory for you. In our Bible text today, beside the word 40, there's another very significant word that reminds me of Jim and Pastor Heike. It's the word covenant. God says to Noah, I am establishing my covenant with you. And then that word covenant is repeated six more times in our scripture passage. The word covenant Reminds me of Jim and Pastor Heike because 40 years ago, Jim made a covenant 
to serve here at our Savior's, and he has faithfully served here ever since. Forty years ago, Pastor Heike made a covenant to serve as a pastor in the church, and she has served faithfully ever since. Twenty of her 40 years have been here at our Savior's. Now, both Jim and Pastor Heike would be the very first people to say, but it's not about us. It's not about our faithfulness. Please don't make this sermon about us, they would say. And they would be right, of course. Today, we not only celebrate Jim and Pastor Heike, today and every day, we give God the glory. That word covenant, covenant, reminds us that we're in this together. We cooperate in ministry with God. We are co-missioned by God. We are co-workers with God and with each other in the body of Christ. We don't do it alone. We can't do it alone. And so today and every day, we give thanks to God for God's faithfulness, for God's covenant with us. In our Bible text, God says, this is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. God made a covenant with Noah and with all of us to be faithful to us. And so we give God the glory when we respond to God's faithfulness with our own faithfulness. We give God the glory by loving others as God loves us. We give God the glory by giving of ourselves because God gave Jesus for us. The sign of God's covenant, one of the many signs of God's faithfulness in this world is the rainbow. And I don't think that it was a coincidence that this beautiful rainbow appeared above our church building last month. It was as if God was getting a jump start on the celebration for Jim and Pastor Heike. Oh, it would be wonderful if we could fill this church building to the brim today so that Jim and Pastor Heike could truly feel our appreciation. But of course, in these days of COVID, that's not the reality. We're practicing social distancing, physical distancing, as a way to care for our neighbors. But here's a cool factoid. Do you know what the word quarantine means? It's a word that we hear a lot these days. The word quarantine comes from an Italian word that means 40. <laughs> Just like 40 days and 40 nights for Noah and those animals. Just like 40 years of service for Jim and Pastor Heike. Just like this year, 2020 adds up to 40. May the rainbow that appeared above our church building last month remind us that one of these days, this time of quarantine and social distancing will finally be over. Most of you know that I love rainbows. I adore rainbows. Not only because rainbows are awe-inspiring, not only are rainbows a reminder of God's covenant, but they're also, they're also a sign of welcome and love. The diversity of colors in the rainbow remind us of God's creation of all things and of God's love for all that God has made. The slogan for Skittles, this candy of many colors, is taste the rainbow. So I'm going to close out my sermon by reminding us of how Jim and Pastor Heike have helped us and continue to help us taste the rainbow of God's love. In this package of Skittles, there is green Skittles, right? There are green Skittles. And for so many years, Jim has served on the green team at Our Saviors, a team that reminds us to recycle religiously and to be good stewards of all that God has made. One of the biggest green, green Team dreams was to install hundreds of solar panels on the rooftop of our church building, and that dream was realized last year. In the package of Skittles, there are also red Skittles, a color that reminds us of love. 
Pastor Heike has love and passion for ELCA world hunger. She's a dedicated leader, inspiring our saviors to be one of the most generous contributors in the entire country to ELCA world hunger. Pastor Heike, thank you for helping us to taste the rainbow of God's love for all people, reminding us to share with others until all are fed. And how about an orange Skittle? Because orange you all thankful for Jim and Pastor Heike? <laughs> okay, on a serious note, when giving God the glory for Pastor Heike and Jim Valentine, we really need all the colors of the rainbow. In their years of serving here, our saviors became a reconciling in Christ congregation. That means that we are a congregation that strives to be a place of true welcome for all people particularly for people who have not always felt welcome or safe in the church. The rainbow, our RIC symbol, is a sign of extravagant welcome. Jim and Pastor Heike, thank you for helping us to taste the rainbow of God's love. Thank you for being signs like the rainbow, reminders of God's love and faithfulness for all people and for all generations. We thank God for you, and inspired by you, we will continue to give God the glory. Amen. Forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us.
please join with me as we declare our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We bring our needs to God, praying for the world, the church, and all who are in need. Gracious God, after 40 days and 40 nights, you put a rainbow in the sky to welcome Noah and his family back to dry land. Let your promise guide us to a firm foundation in you after this time of being apart from each other, that we may fully live into your vision of being church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, let the symbol of hope and promise always remind us to care for your creation and be loving stewards of this world full of color that you have made. Let the colors of the rainbow remind us to celebrate the diversity of your people, complementing each one as our gifts are mixed with the other, giving beauty to all who gaze upon it and giving glory to you always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, the rainbow appeared after 40 long days and nights. We pray for those who are still awaiting a sign of your promise after long days and nights of health, spiritual, and mental challenges. We lift their names to you now. We ask that you would send a dove of peace and light their lives with a ribbon of hope, healing, and beauty. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for 40 years of service. Through ups and downs and ebbs and flows of ministry, Jim Valentine has served on staff and Pastor Gail Heike said yes to your call of ordination. They have continued to look to your promise. We thank you for the diversity in their gifts, their commitment to ministry, and the example of faith they have lived in full color before your people. We ask now for the glorious sign of your covenant to be written in light in their lives. As we thank you for their gifts, we ask your blessing to arc over them, to call them to life and light and lands that they have never before imagined. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As our faith, our hope, and our love are renewed in you, help us to serve like the rainbow, never knowing where we might be placed but showing up in full color, unannounced, happily, and for as long as you ask us to. For all these things we ask and for gifts we have yet to know to pray for. We pray in your son's name. Amen. Shh. Right now, Pastor Heike and Jim Valentine are not here, so we get to talk about them a little bit. You already heard during my uh, sermon today why we are celebrating both Jim and Pastor Heike. Uh, today, we're only going to hear from one of Jim's former confirmation students uh, because we'll celebrate Pastor Heike at the end of the month when she preaches on the actual weekend of her 40th anniversary of ordination. We could have heard from thousands of people to talk about stories for each of these wonderful people, uh, but during this time of COVID, it's difficult to bring a lot of people in. So uh, we will hear right now from one of Jim Valentine's former confirmation students as she speaks on behalf of so many of us. Hi, my name is Melanie Posdell, and I've known Mr. Valentine or Mr. V for my entire life. And all I can say is, wow, 40 years. I mean, that's as long as the Israelites wandered in the desert, and he's been wandering the halls of our saviors for that same amount of time. Over the course of 40 years, Mr. V has touched so many young lives and has been such a strong role model to us all. Um, 
I feel a bit of a burden speaking on behalf of every single youth he has worked with, but also I feel very honored to be able to just um, say thank you to Mr. V on behalf of not only all of the youth that he has worked with at Our Saviors over the course of that time, but just every single person whose life he's touched. Um, I really just think that I speak for everyone when I say that Mr. V was a central figure in so many of our memories from our OSLC youth, from vacation Bible school um, to confirmation class, um, helping to establish the X team, which fun fact, it was referred to as the extreme team originally, um, middle school trips and fun events like Club Our Saviors, going on um, the canoe trips, the Our Saviors lock-ins, and the crosswalks. And my sister, Allison, Lisa, and I discussed the crosswalks a little bit last night, and we're really grateful for the opportunity that Mr. V gave us in doing those. And really, we thought that was one of the first opportunities that we had to memorize some key scripture um, and act out an important part of uh, Jesus's life. Um, when Mr. V was named Chief Operating Officer, or COO, um, I think all of the youth of our saviors thought to ourselves, what is a COO? Is that even a thing? <laughs> um, but he's, you know, as he's pivoted from that youth-centered focus to um, being somebody who works across all areas of the church. Um, he's just been such a central figure here at Our Saviors. Um, he certainly will always remain a fixture in my memories from my OSLC youth, um, and the church just wouldn't be the same without him. Um, so thank you, Mr. Valentine, for 40 years of service on behalf of all of the youth of Our Saviors, and um, you know, certainly none of us can forget how great you've been for all of us or how well you match those solar panels affixed to the roof of our saviors so thank you may the god of all steadfastness encourage you to live your life in full color and in celebration of god's work and grace in the world father son and holy spirit bless you now and always amen Twenty-one million, twenty-four thousand minutes Twenty-one million plus moments so oh dear Twenty-one million, twenty-four thousand minutes How do you measure forty years? In sermons, in meetings, in budgets, or cups of coffee in hairstyles, in smiles, in laughter, in tears. Twenty-one million, twenty-four thousand minutes. How do you measure all of these years? How about love? Jim Valentine, love. Pastor Heike, love. Life in love.